few months back, I did an episode describing the five types of conservative guys that you meet on dating apps. So I thought that I would break down the five types of conservative girls. Yeah. I'm about to go there. Don't think the dude servitors are the only ones getting roasted. We're an equal opportunity tea spiller, baby. We gotta laugh at ourselves sometimes, right? Now, the game is you have to pay close attention so you can admit which one you are in the comments. By the way, today is our 300th episode. Can you believe it? I'm Alex Clark and this is Politics. First up is the country cutie. You own more cowboy boots than high heels and think wearing miss me jeans means you're dressed up. Also, you have a flannel collection that rivals any hipsters. You probably haven't cut your hair since middle school and your graduating class had 25 people in it. Your main voter issues are guns and guns. And you think talking about how to properly gut a deer is good first date conversation. She's on the ground now. You're pretty sure AOC must be some kind of urban legend. Someone like that can't exist, right? And you credit Gretchen Wilson's redneck woman with shaping you into who you are today. Let me get a big hell yeah from the redneck girls like me. Hell yeah! More likely than not, you've got no clue who Zara is and once asked if it was an Italian restaurant. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Italian. You keep mellow yellow stocked in your fridge at all times, tell everyone you wish Taylor Swift would have stuck to her old stuff, and have a small crush on George W. Bush. MAGA Fox, you're next. You feel like time works in two ways, BT and AT, before Trump and after Trump. Honestly, it's hard to even remember what life was even like before Trump became president for you. Visitors essentially mated with Earth women. You have so many American flag bikinis that you have a separate drawer for them and a matching MAGA hat for every outfit. You also have that one Lily Pulitzer dress that's all elephants and it's your favorite thing that you own. You recruited six of your friends into becoming Trump supporters and dedicate at least two hours a week to Facebook fights. Someone online is full of shit. You go to the lake in a full face of hair and makeup to get a good pick for the gram in your MAGA hat and have a personal goal of being featured on Babes for Trump. That we take our next steps into the world. You must go forth into the world. It is with passion. Passion. Courage of conviction. Courage in your convictions. And strong sense of self. Be true to yourself. We did it! I did it. Next is the evangelical slash traditional conservative. This is gonna be touchy, cause no matter what I say, someone's gonna get a little pissed off. Especially now, cause I just said pissed. <laughs> you probably didn't like Trump very much, but voted for him anyways because of abortion, which is your number one voter issue. You got married at 19, or are about to be married, and you feel cool telling people, I don't really listen to music, except songs you learned in youth group. You weren't allowed to eat Lucky Charms or watch MTV growing up and you still feel guilty for watching it secretly at your friend's house in fourth grade. I did find this, so thank you guys very much. You have a favorite Duggar, Tim Tebow is your celebrity crush, and you know the best ways to a guy's heart is through his stomach and keeping Fox News on 24-7. You're always gonna have critics and naysayers and people that are gonna tell you that you won't, that you can't, that you shouldn't. Most of those people are the people that didn't, that wouldn't, that couldn't. Then there's the intellectual cutie, and they can be found constantly reading presidential biographies, and they love cardigans. You know foreign policy issues backwards and forwards, but have no idea how to talk to a guy. I have just met you, and I love you. You were involved in your high school's debate team, and you consider your love for Harry Potter to be a personality trait. I love magic. You hate rap, and spend your free time thinking of new ways to own the left. Your idea of being sexy is quoting Condoleezza Rice, and you are obsessed with that movie, Hidden Figures. Math is always dependable. For you, it is. Last, we have the future politician. You were class president of your high school and your YouTube search history is a bunch of Reagan speeches. You met your last boyfriend while volunteering for a campaign or at a TPUSA event. For Pedro Sanchez, who do you think? You're involved in like three to four different clubs, already know what you want your campaign slogan to be one day, and dream of being a White House intern. Welcome to the White House. 
You can name all of the presidents in order, and the people at J. Crew know you by name. It's weird to see you again. You love pearls, golden retrievers, hate that COVID prevents you from shaking hands, and run a background check on every guy before you go out with them because you can't risk it. As you probably could have guessed by this moment, I have decided in 2020 to run for president. All right, hopefully you're feeling humble. You have to tell me in the comments now which conservative girl I am and which one you are. Bonus points if you DM this episode to your best friend and tell her which one she is. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing Isabel Brown's new merch, Jen Free. So if you wanna shop and support her, go to her page. I have to say, it is like insanely good quality and so soft. It's some of my new favorite stuff. I'm wearing them constantly. Follow at shop Jen Free to learn more and snag your own. Subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Leave us a five-star review. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics. Click below to watch yesterday's episode. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss the conservatee. And make sure you're following this show at Politics on Instagram for even more conservative content.